Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more eSports talk. It is certainly a Monday, so be sure to just get some caffeine and pump it straight through your veins, and let's get going. All right, guys, just last week, League of Legends announced their latest champion named Gwyn. Now, there was a lot of backlash that ended up coming out about this champion release because a lot of people are starting to feel as if League of Legends and Riot are only releasing these, you know, anime, edgy type of characters now and have forsaken the entire creatures, monster, beast type characters. From what I can tell, it seems like Gwyn is the doll of Diego's wife that has now maybe come to life after his wife died. People were initially pretty excited about the team and seeing the whole doll theme but then after the champion's entire trailer release and you could actually see what the champion would look like people were let's just say confused about it oh who this what the hell What'd you think of the new champ teaser? Anime girl character with a CC immunity. Are they serious with this shit? Dude, yes, this looks like a league champ. They've gotta be trolling with this shit. Dude, I can't wait to see in five years what kind of f***ing champions are coming out. This shit's ridiculous. And after that release, the internet kind of just exploded back on Riot, I feel like, and Reddit uh, especially was very pissed off about the entire situation. Like I said, people just kind of feel at this point as if Riot has, you know, just steered away from the Cho'Gas, the Volley Bears of the world, and are now just doing these, again, anime, edgy, ripped, sexy goat characters, you know, like people are just really confused about the direction of the game. And like I said, I mean, Reddit was just all about it. And there was really just infinite posts about how people feel as though champion design has gotten a little bit too lazy and it's all just trending in the same direction. However, Riot does seem to actually have a little bit of planning in the works for a monster type champion. It just seems like it's not really their main focus. While we are shifting to do less straight humans, though this doesn't mean less humanoids, it just means we want to do more stuff like Renekton, Aatrox, Zillia, as in humanoids, the effects of that shift won't really be seen until 2022. Since champ timelines are so long, and this doesn't mean we don't want to make creatures anymore, we do, it just doesn't mean we plan on suddenly making tons of creatures, just less pure humans. So this point right here is really interesting. He also says we're defining it now as human, humanoid, and creature, and going to be more deliberate to make sure we are making champs in all three, Though we still likely will be doing mainly humans and humanoid champions with creatures thrown in. Since creatures tend to be much lower play rate in general, we still want to make them. It's just a smaller audience we will generally make long. And then he says he wouldn't expect the creature every year, but he's planning to make sure we get one in 2022. And then he also says it's been too long since we did a new creature champion. Yumi being the last one, actually. That's pretty funny. If you want to look at, you know, like the last seven champions released, you can see that they're are definitely a bit of a resemblance in their you know ripped abs and marketability and it gets kind of hilarious to look at the old champions that we originally got versus all of these new ones but the bigger problems come into play not with their appearance necessarily but in their performance what is this shit i'm so sick of this fucking shitty little game i can't bro like i don't know bro and it's all every new champion is so absurdly broken. Keep killing it, guys. You guys are doing a great job over there. League's gonna live and prosper for a long time. Looked hella broken. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. Wait, this part looked hella broken. Bro, what? What the hell? Bro, is this Samira? And Camille? What? Bro, she's like, oh. Nah! Champ's probably gonna be a little broken, but that's normal. That's how it is when they are released, you know? No, it's another Samira. No time to rest. No. 
She needs nerfs, man. This champ is too broken. Okay. This trend of new champions being absolutely busted is nothing new. I mean, if you think about the last few releases, let's say Viego, Samira, and Yon, like just think about when they first released and how absolutely broken and busted they were. In fact, Viego hasn't even been allowed in pro play yet because of how insane he is, along with all the glitches that he had with his kit. And I think I saw something absolutely crazy about Seraphine and how she has like an above a 60% pick rate in professional play, but I can't find that stat, so take it with a grain of salt. But what I can find is the top most banned champions in ranked play right now, which just so happens to include three of the newest champions. I think it's kind of hard to blame Riot about this though, because if you think about it, Riot is a business at the end of the day. Yes, they're making a game for us and they need to balance it correctly, but at the end of the day, they're a business and their goal is to make money so they can pay their employees and so they can make a profit on everything. And so how can you be upset at them, I guess, for making champions that are going to sell more, right? You get a maybe more marketable, more attractive champion who might perform better, you know, in different markets versus a Cho'Gath or like an ugly monster that not as many people are gonna buy, they're not gonna want the skin. And then of course you make that same champion absolutely broken on release and more and more people are gonna wanna buy it. So what do you guys think about the situation? Are you happy with the newest champions and their appearance and their kits? Or do you think that maybe Riot is doing a little bit too much? Until next time guys, be safe, be smart, behave, and I will catch you later.